Hey guys, Sean Terry here, flip2freedom.com. Hope you're doing well. All right, now in this video, I'm gonna answer a question I received from a uh, recent subscriber who said, asked, what's the difference between cold calling and texting versus pay-per-click? You know, where should I put my energy and time? Um, and that is what we're gonna talk about in this video. We're gonna do a comparison uh, of the two. So at the end of this video, you'll know which one you wanna essentially spend your time and energy so let's get into it i can't take no loss yeah. i don't even know what it costs yeah i hit the ground and it go off yeah hit the ground and it go off yeah yeah run it run it oh i really feel it's my time think it's my year yeah yeah i really feel it's my time think it's my year yeah yeah i really feel it's my time think it's my year yeah yeah i really feel it's my time think it's my All right, so if we don't know each other, my name's Sean Terry, and I've been wholesaling now for the past 19 years. I've pretty much seen everything when it comes to marketing, um, and I've been wholesaled during the 2008 market crash. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about now, and now currently we actually uh, do deals all across the entire country virtually, and I'll actually show you our marketing campaigns that we're using to go out and generate hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of leads a week. All right, so... Pay-per-click advertising and then texting or cold calling. So if we're going to look at it, we want to, you know, first off, determine when it comes to the lead, because the lead is the most important thing. And the perception and the motivation of the lead is critically important. So when it comes to cold calling um, and texting, what happens is you typically don't have the ability to ask a very important question. And the question is, what are you asking for your property? Which that information is absolutely critical. Now, when you look at average deal size and you're looking at, you know, average deal size of cold calling and texting versus average deal size of pay-per-click advertising. You have an average deal size of 25 to 30,000 when it comes to pay-per-click advertising, even direct mail. And you have a average deal size of cold calling and texting roughly like seven to 10 to $12,000. So if you look at someone that's cold calling and texting, they tend to get lower average deal size or lower spreads because they don't get to ask the question. So here's how it goes. You know, you're sending a text out, someone responds and say, yes, I want to sell their house, sell my house. You get them on the phone and then you ask them a question, right? Or you, you're talking to them about their property. Um, and what they're going to do is they're going to say, hey, you reached out to me, right? What is your offer? Same with cold calling. You call someone on the phone, say, hey, do you want to sell your house? Yeah, we're thinking about selling your house. Say, great, kind of tell me about it a little bit. And you say, okay, what are you asking? And they say, wait a minute, you called me. You know, what are you offering for the house, right? So that becomes the conversation with cold calling and texting. Now, with pay-per-click advertising, it's dramatically different because they are reaching out to you. They're going on Google, they're typing in, you know, sell my house fast, right? And then an ad pops up, they click on it and I'll show you here in a second, they click on it. And then now they're responding to you. They're calling you maybe on your website or they're filling out a form or whatever it might be. And now they're reaching out to you. So naturally when they reach out to you, say, Hey, you call them up and say, Hey, you, um, you hit our website, you fill out a form, you're looking to sell your property, you know, great. How soon would you like to sell? You know, what are you asking for your property? That is the conversation because they're reaching out to you. Same with direct mail. Someone gets a postcard, someone gets a letter, they call in, say, great, how soon would you like to sell? Tell me about the property, how, you know, what's your asking price? So if you're using a marketing method that you get to ask the question, okay, what do you let, what do you want to get for your property, right? What are you asking for your property and how soon would you like to sell? That is some critical information and that's where the big spreads come from. Uh, for an example, there was, uh, there's a gentleman in our mastermind group, uh, Syndicate 9 Mastermind, it's for people that want to go out there and scale uh, their business. Um, they want to start building a business. Well, they're out of uh, North Carolina and they got a virtual wholesale deal in and outside 
outside of Austin, uh, got the property under contract, asked the question, what would you like to get for the property? I think they got the property in the 300s um, and actually going to do an interview with them. So stay tuned um, on, uh, stay tuned and watch, watch the channel. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe. Um, and then they put it on the market and it bid up to over $800,000 because the area, the type of property, um, and uh, the demand in that little pocket just outside of Austin. So they made 475, roughly, I don't know exact numbers, but around $475,000 um, on one deal that came in because they asked the question, what do you want for your property? Now, we closed the deal up in Santa Barbara, California, same thing. Guy said, hey, what would you like to get for your property? Came in for pay-per-click advertising lead. What would you like to get? And he goes, you know, give me half a million dollars. I'd be happy. There was a problem tenant in the property. There was drugs on the property. It's a big mess. He goes, listen, just get me out of this property. I just want to retire. just want to be done. Give me a half a million dollars and we're good. So got the property under contract for a half a million, turned around and sold the thing um, for just under $700,000 and made a huge spread on that particular deal. So the bottom line, 192,000. So the bottom line is, is that you, if you ask the question, you're going to get people to say, Hey, give me a half a million dollars. And it's good. It's different with pay-per-click advertising. And I mean, with, uh, with, uh, texting and, um, and co-calling because you're not able to ask that question. Or if you try to ask that question, they'll just come right back at you and say what, um, you know, uh, you know, what is your offer, which obviously you don't want. All right. So the next thing is, you know, that, that, that is a critically important part to get huge spreads, um, which obviously make it all worth it. So now the next thing is, 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 is basically contact to close. So contact to contract, meaning you have a, you, you contact them the initial time and the time to close. When it comes to pay-per-click advertising, there is more motivation when it comes to having that initial contact and then closing or getting that contract signed. You can have someone call in today, have a conversation with them and sign a contract today because they're motivated. They reached out to you to be able to type in, say, sell my house fast, sell my house for cash, we buy houses, whatever the keyword is. Now, someone that you reach out to, you're texting, you're calling, well, guess what? Now you might have to nurture that person over a long period of time. It might be, you know, you know, maybe two or three or four or five weeks to build that relationship with them before they're ready to sell their house. You have to catch them absolutely perfect. Whereas someone types in the information and they want to sell, that means they they're they're right at that situation where they want to sell, where you have to catch someone in that situation that is ready to sell. Now you'll catch them, you'll just be a lot of leads that you'll have to go through before you can kind of nurture them. Now, cost per lead. The cost per lead is going to be cheaper with texting and with cold calling. It could be like anywhere from $25 to $30 cost per lead, whereas pay-per-click advertising is going to be $85 to $100 cost per lead. So you have, you know, you have a higher, uh, you have a higher, uh, cost per lead with pay-per-click advertising, but, and you have a lower cost, so you're going to need to generate more leads to be able to find those particular deals. But what happens is your average deal size is a little bit smaller. So you got to take that into consideration too. There is cheaper, it's cost effective to go out and generate the leads, but you got to convert more leads. It's going to take more leads to generate a deal. So with pay-per-click advertising, it takes anywhere from, you know, say 30 leads to convert a Twenty-five to thirty thousand dollar deal, and it might take you know a hundred eighty to a hundred leads is what the you know typical numbers are, where you convert a seven to twelve thousand dollar deal. So there's more time, energy, and effort when it comes to converting those leads. Now, also let's talk about regulation. There's a lot of regulation, a lot of especially with cold calling and texting. Now, what happens is they uh, essentially you might send a text out, you might cold call someone or whatever, and you'll see on your phone now it comes up 
up spam risk, right? Mm -hmm. It comes up as a spam risk on your phone where, where typically uh, you wouldn't see that. Now, if someone reaches out and calls your number, you, you know, uh, a pay-per-click advertising lead calls you off your phone number, and then you call that number back, it doesn't have the spam risk because it recognizes that you turned around and called them first. Mm -hmm. Now, so you have that issue. And what do, what do you do when I get a spam risk, you know? deny, right? And block. <laughs> That's what I do. Deny and block. Well, guess what? Other people are doing the exact same thing too, to you when someone out is trying to cold call. Same mm -hmm. with texting. Texting now, what happens is the carriers are essentially uh, shadow banning or ghosting your number, meaning you'll send the text, you'll pay for the text going out, but it actually never reaches the phone because the carrier internally blocks that because it's a potential high risk or spam risk number and they will take that text and they'll put it right in the trash and you're going to pay for it and you're going to wonder why the heck is there no response, especially on a uh, mass? So I'm gonna give you a couple different options. I'm gonna give you where to get some um, phone numbers for cheap and a better texting platform if you wanna do it. So let's uh, let's take it into the computer right now. Now, when it comes to, uh, we like call tools. I used call tools in the past when I did uh, cold calling. I had a team of cold callers. I moved away from that cold calling just because, um, you know, just because it, it was a lot of maintenance, right? So first off, you have to go through and you got to pull a list. Now, these are direct mailing lists, data append lists. You get uh, phone append. You can get phone lists on here. Um, um, and these are phone scrub lists right here, which is really good. Uh, and you can go and get um actual i think you can go in and get um let me log in here you can go in and get certain lists right here that are um like homeowner lists right here uh let me see where uh, build a list right here. So you go build a list, you go down and you got property owners, pre foreclosures, and they're 0.025% for property owners. These are like 10 cents to 12 cents for a phone number of pre foreclosures. And you can get these all across the entire country and you can order these. So you can use something like call tools. You can pull a list of homeowners out of here and there's certain other distress that you can pull in that list. Um, and then what you do is pull this list out of here, it's cleaned and scrubbed, and then you can turn around and you can cold call them out of here, right? And then you can um, text them with a service like Smarter Contact. Um, Smarter Contact is one of the rate, highest rated uh, SMS converting platforms out there. Um, and what you have to do though, is you have to tap on the, uh, you have to tap, right? You know, you're tapping versus sending a a bulk blast out. There's certain regulations where if you send a bulk blast out versus actually tapping um, and uh, actually tapping, um, they're uh, they're considering it. Um, it's it's under regulation. Now I don't know all the regulations about it or anything like that. I just know these companies do it, so I definitely look into them. Um, and uh, they do work well because it creates a two way conversation when it comes to texting. Now when it comes to texting, your mission is when someone responds is get them on the phone, build a relationship with them, and then be able to uh, see if you can negotiate to get that property under contract. All right. So now if we go to, you know, say we go to the back to Google um, and we go. All right. So bring it back to the camera right here. So if I go sell my house fast, right. And, um, and I want to sell my house fast. Right. And I put that in. What happens is these ads come up. So this is pay per click advertising. So you pay when someone clicks on where it says add, 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 add right there. Right. So pay per click advertising. So um, will be any offer by a thousand dollars. Pretty good one. Cash for homes will be any, need to sell your house fast. That's a that's a good ad right there. Let's go check it out. Right. No waiting, no repairs, no realtors, no fees. We buy houses fast for cash. Click here and get your offer. And you can click the call. This is pretty good. Enter your zip code and they'll bring you through a process right here. What's the difference between selling to them or selling to an agent? It's pretty good there. Call us and get your cash offer. So this generates leads 
right? 24 seven, which is, uh, which is pretty good. Now, if I go here, right, this is our actually ad account. Um, and I, I run multiple different, I've run tons of campaigns. Um, I spent over $3.5 million in, uh, in Google AdWords since uh, September of 2021, right? We've generated 34,000 leads inside here. Just these couple campaigns, we've ran over a quarter million dollars here. For the way I, I do test campaigns all the time, just trying to get a lower cost per lead. So this one, we're running about an $80 cost per lead, 14% conversion, 12% conversion on this campaign. But we've run, in these leads, 30 $4,000. So what's the difference? These leads put in their information and they are motivated to sell, right? They're motivated to be able to sell because they're reaching out to you. Um, and they're going to put their name, telephone number. You can ask them how soon would you like to sell, what your asking price is. Um, and, uh, and many times you'll get that contract within the first seven days of them reaching out. Sometimes you'll get it right on the first day, uh, but seven days. So cost per lead, you got $30 versus 80, $80 for pay-per-click advertising. So meaning, you know, if it takes 25 leads, roughly 25 leads, uh, or 30 leads to get a deal, 30 times 80. It costs you about $2,400 to generate a $30,000 deal. So now if you look at and say it's $30 and it's going to say take you 80 leads, it's $2,400 to generate a seven to 12,000. It's pretty much the exact same thing, you know, um, in that particular case. It takes you more leads, less cost, um, but you'll get smaller deals. So that's my opinion when it comes to, you know, pay-per-click advertising and texting versus Google. Um, pay-per-click advertising is, uh, is phenomenal. So if you want to learn more about this and how to do deals and how to convert sellers into contracts, actually, if you just click the link below, it's called Bear Market Millions. And I actually do a webinar and I talk about virtual wholesaling, do deals all across the entire country. I actually share with you how to pick a market. I share with you the, uh, the, the seven step process to close a deal, what's needed. Um, once you pick a market, I give you a cheap method, paid method and freed method to go out and generate leads in the best way. So you can do them free if you want, or you can do them um, paid if you want, cheap and paid. I also talk about how to close deals, what it looks like, what the transaction looks like. And I give you some free gifts on there, something that's called a comp calculator to do deals all across the country. So that's a free training you can listen to. Just click the link below and you can register um, and uh, you can watch that training. It's awesome. Awesome. Like I said, the, we, have, we have a gentleman, Stephen, who uh, from Charlotte, North Carolina, closed on a deal in Austin because he followed this course, right? This course, Bear Market Millions, made 475 plus thousand. I'm going to get him on an interview. So definitely make sure you click the subscribe button and uh, hit the like button if you could. All right. Hope this video helps. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you soon. I can't take no loss. Yeah. I don't even know what it costs. Feel it's my time, think it's my year, yeah, yeah I really feel it's my time, think it's my year